So in this lecture, we're going to be talking about ketamine and particularly its use in the treatment of depression and addictions. The subtitle is What is the evidence and will treatment become available in the UK? So this is from America and in America, the worry is, is the ketamine boom getting out of hand? And um, this is a, a clip from a news item there about a, a ketamine clinic. There are loads of ketamine clinics in America <clears throat> where you can, and in this particular one, you can be treated one of five proprietary blends of ketamine. I don't entirely know what a blend of ketamine is. Nevertheless, they will charge you $495 per infusion. And these are not covered by insurance. However, you'll be pleased to know they will offer you a monthly membership program to cut the costs. Um, they uh, promote treatment for over two dozen conditions, including <clears throat> depression, chronic pain and migraines. And it cheerily tells patients on a form they're handed Congratulations on resetting your life. So lots of these clinics available in the States. So these are just some I Googled. So here's your clinic in Utah. <clears throat> uh, Resurgence Ketamine Clinic. Not entirely sure where that is, but it sounds good. Um, ketamine Therapy, a conceptual framework. Okay. And here a ketamine clinic advertising the use of ketamine to treat a broad range of conditions. And you can even order a book from Amazon uh, if you're thinking about starting a ketamine clinic, how to start a, a, a handy guide to doing it. So um, this is very widespread in the United States. Um, I think I think actually this slide is somewhat out of date. I, I, I think it's going to there's a, there's a huge number of, of, of clinics. Uh, many of them do not follow even the minimum recommendations from the APA task force. Many make outlandish claims um, for for being able to treat a whole range of, of disorders. Um, ketamine clinics are available in, in the UK, so <clears throat> from my website search, uh, this clinic is in London and uh, I was interested to look at their frequently asked questions section. What is the ketamine success rate? And their answer, approximately 70 to 80% of patients respond to ketamine infusions. Okay, so... Uh, that certainly is their claim. Um, there is also a, a, a clinic in, uh, run by the NHS in, in Oxford. So uh, as far as I know, and there's a similar one in, in Northampton, as far as I know, this is run um, part by academic psychiatrists. So this is as part of a research program, but it will charge patients for treatment and I think the the cost per treatment um, I, I can't remember I think it's either it's either 200 or, or 300 pounds per, per infusion they're certainly available here <clears throat> I mean almost certainly um, th these services will be well regulated and <clears throat> you know with, with clear indications and, and, and clear safety precautions. Um, um, there is little debate over the antidepressant effects on this low dose of ketamine in major depressive disorder and bipolar disorder. Lots of evidence to support that it, it, it actually works. There is a but coming. However, these effects are clear but transient and um, usually last um, le less than a week or so. 
it's not entirely clear why ketamine works as an antidepressant. We know, we know what ketamine does. We know that it's an NMDA receptor antagonist, um, but other such uh, antagonists do not have antidepressant activities. We do know that um, the antidepressant action of ketamine is mediated by the opioid receptor system, particularly the mu opioid receptor, because if you give uh, a mu receptor blocker with the ketamine, then it blocks the antidepressant actions. So the mechanism of action it, it is, is complex and, it, and, it, and, it's, and it's not clearly understood. So you, I'm sure that you've heard that there is a big resurgence in the in interest and the, the possible utility of drugs such as psilocybin found in magic mushrooms, LSD and ecstasy used in the treatment of depression. Lots of research going on uh, uh, <clears throat> involving these drugs. <clears throat> so um, what, what these drugs all share is that they almost immediately will increase and, uh, and enable or release an ability for introspection and also an ability to achieve a different perspective. Some of the thinking around chronic depression is that <clears throat> patients get, kept, get caught in a cognitive rut and cannot see a way out of it. So <clears throat> immediately helping them just jump out of that rut and seeing things from a different angle can be extremely therapeutic. But this is some of the, the psychological theory around um, the, the mechanism of action of, of, of ketamine. Th this also is very interesting. So I've picked these articles. So these are, these are the, this is an article, the two articles I'm gonna show you that uh, are published in the American Journal of Psychiatry. I'm not going to go into this in, in, in detail, but the, um, the, 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 the results are very promising. And so both in the treatment of alcoholism and here in the treatment of cocaine addiction. And a single infusion of ketamine when you follow these patients up, even after a year, that you can see a beneficial effect in terms of a reduction in the total amount of drinking and the number of heavy drinking days and the number of, of using days. And <clears throat> even if the effect size is, is modest, I mean, anything in the, 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 the treatment of, of addictions that, that, that works uh, any medication that works, you know, is to be welcomed. Okay. As I said, I, I'm not going to go over the, the evidence here, but I'm, I'm just going to summarise and say that, you know, there is um, a significant amount of, of evidence <clears throat> in publications, in respected journals, uh, demonstrating that, that, that ketamine has an antidepressant action. Now, will it be used in, in the UK? I mean, it's debatable. The, the big hurdle is the, the setting up of, of clinics uh, to, be to, 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 to be able to give IV infusions and to have all the monitoring around it. Um, there is possibly going to be an intranasal uh, preparation of, of ketamine released onto the market. The downside, the, one of the hurdles here is, is that it's very expensive. So annual costs at around about, uh, to the NHS would be in, in, in the range of about 20,000 pounds. So I understand that <clears throat> it's, being, uh, it's, being, it's being considered again for, 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 for licensing in, in the UK. So, um, does this all sound too good to be true? So, just looking at 
the, the, the reality of this. Um, one, I would say that depression is over-diagnosed. Um, there are lots of people who may say they are depressed and who may request this, um, whether they actually are suffering from depression is another matter. The effect size for the treatment of depression is certainly there, but it's a modest effect size. It, it, it's only uh, the effects are, 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 are as I said, are, are, are only last for about a week, so it does require repeated and ongoing infusions. It's not clear how long these infusions, how long the treatment is going to be required for. Also quite concerning, <clears throat> some of the trials have certainly reported increased rates of suicide when treatment stops. So something certainly to be concerned about. <clears throat> I would say again though that these the results uh, in addictions are promising. There's been there, there's been further uh, a, a very large further trial which is unyet as is yet unpublished, uh, replicating the beneficial effects in, in in alcoholism. So yeah, lots of lots of promising work. Again, any questions or comments? Please post them below. <laughs>